We are here from the GSFC 2024. I'm Louis Perard from Amiens, France, and member of the French Young Cardiologist Group. And I have the great pleasure and honor to uh, welcome uh, Professor Olga Ziller from Leipzig, Germany, the president of the German Society of Cardiology. We just finished a passionate session about uh, mechanical circulatory support in cardiogenic shock uh, in acute myocardial infarction. You're kind of specialist. Can you tell more about uh, the impact of your data published uh, about six months ago at the ESC uh, in clinical practice, please? Yeah, that's a good question. So first of all, I think we have to digest the data because everybody believes that VA ECMO may be or would be beneficial regarding mortality reduction. And then we have seen that there's totally neutral uh, mortality, but on the other hand, an increase in complications. Um, I think this is what we have to digest now. Um, I still believe that there are indications for VA ECMO. The question now is nevertheless, which are these patients um, who have a benefit from this? As I've just shown in my presentation, I personally believe that the overall number having a benefit is getting smaller after having seen the result of our ECA shock trial. Um, probably it's less than 5% of, of the overall cohort of patients with acute myocardial infarction related cardiogenic shock. Okay, so my second question is, you talked about a revised definition of the cardiogenic shock regarding SCAA classification. Uh, what's your opinion about it? Uh, can you tell us a bit? Yeah, so I've been one of the members of the writing group. So we um, put this on, on a scratch and then we developed this um, sky classification from A to E. I personally like it because now we are talking about the same language, which is good. Um, regarding A, B, C, D and E classification, but nevertheless this also has still some shortcomings and some limitations. So um, I think we will probably have to refine it once again, um, because it, now it's a dynamic um, definition, which means at the moment when you have to make a decision regarding, for example, mechanical circulatory support, you don't know what will be the direction of the patient. Is the patient worsening or is the patient improving? This is what we do not know. That's the reason why probably we need even better um, definitions for cardiogenic shocks and the sky classification. Okay, so some uh, take-home messages. First, uh, VA ECMO in cardiogenic shock uh, at the acute phase of myocardial infarction, yes, but not for every patient. And we need to uh, classify them better to uh, benefit uh, better for the patients. Thank you very much, Holger. Yes, thank you. It was a pleasure.